Welcome back everyone, continuing our look at some more economically priced uh, combat cut apparel uh, in today's video. This is the True Spec Quarter Zip Combat Shirt. Now straight away pricing wise, you're looking at around 70 to 80 dollars for one of these. They go just below 70, just over 80. And that's for the nylon cotton versions, most of them anyway. But you can always pick these things up, especially if you're in the States, you can pick them up in sales for, for you know, less money. You can use voucher codes, etc. Now, by comparison, this is a 50-50 Nyko, which is the best material generally for any sort of camo clothing. Uh, LBX use 6535 polycotton, which is basically just inferior in every way. Every color that LBX do that I've seen anyway, all their camo options cost 80 bucks. And that's even for their weird, made up fictional camos. See a lot of LBX stuff floating around. Um, pretty much just wanted to highlight some options like this. It just brings the point home that you can spend the same money, sometimes less money, and get and still get a superior product. So why wouldn't you? End of the day, that's that's the main point I wanted to put across. Materials wise, you're basically getting similar stuff to a Cry G3 combat shirt. It's the 5050 Nyko. Same weight ripstop as Cry use. You can get the Multicam, Multicam Tropic, Multicam Arid. There's different ATAX patterns. They've got woodland, all sorts of other flavors. The base layer isn't as nice. It's a 60% cotton, 40% Cordura base layer fabric. I don't know what that actually is. True Spec website doesn't actually elaborate, neither does the labeling on the product. So I'm not 100%. It's definitely on the thinner side, the base fabric. It's, it's going to be good in the heat but it does also pill very quickly and, and uh, bunch up and lift very quickly as you'll see when I switch it over to the back. So on the sleeves, very standard Velcro cuff adjustment. The left sleeve has this pen pocket, which I find a little bit strange if you really need to th carry three biros right there uh, or, or Sharpies or whatever. Um, it's not much, they're not much use for anything else. I've never really seen the need. I would put pens and stuff in the actual bicep pockets, but that's there if you want it. I'd rather it wasn't there, but hey ho. Um, the elbows have a pocket, so you've got two layers of fabric on here where it could potentially wear through, and you can get inside to insert an elbow pad. Having the Velcro on top there is actually, it's a minor thing, but by comparison, it makes more sense having it on the top than the bottom, because if the Velcro somehow were to come undone, you can't lose your elbow pad out the bottom because the opening's at the top, so that's actually slightly better than Cry. Pretty run-of-the-mill bicep pockets. You got your loop fields. You got your little edging tape pieces so that you can attach and then cover up when needed. A piece of glint tape or IR reflective tape on there, and you can just, you can just stow that away as and when you don't want it. Pretty decent capacity in those pleated on the rear side. Very, uh, very run of the mill, really. Unfortunately, the base layer fabric doesn't extend onto the arm. Um, if you look at a G3 shirt, this fabric continues down to about here. So that's not gonna be quite as optimal in terms of releasing sweat from the two places where you sweat the most. Slightly less comfortable, but we're talking pretty minor stuff there. The sleeves are a bit overly large to be honest this is a small shirt and i get the feeling they they make the sleeves and the yoke all the same size regardless what size you buy because i can't i don't think anyone buying a small is going to have biceps that that big that's pretty good going so there's a bit, a bit of a baggy cut generally the cut is okay though quite a short collar on it but it is lined with the base layer fabric so it's nice and comfortable you've got a little garage of the 5050 nyko for the zip it's a YKK zip, which is really good. It's got a little string and a plastic pull on there, which is very nice. Unfortunately, the zip isn't backed, so you just about feel the plastic teeth of the zip on the center of your chest there when you're actually wearing the shirt. Uh, a cry one, the base layer fabric covers the back of the zip. Not the end of the world. Slight downside though. It's all nicely flat stitched where all the Nyko meets the base layer fabric. So that's pretty good. You're looking at uh, an average about nine stitches per inch around this shirt, eight to 10 cry 
for reference for those who aren't sure cry tend to average about 11 slightly less but as long as you're over six or seven you're good to go really for the the lower end of, of duty military police type usage definitely good enough uh, for any sort of recreational sporting use the right sleeve's just a mirror of the left minus the pen pocket so you've got your cuff adjustment elbow pad pocket bicep pocket with loop not a lot to show you on the back I'm not sure if the camera will pick up but you can just see this is probably I'm guessing either the bottom of my plate carrier where I was wearing it or the back waist of my belt and where it's rubbed it has pilled pretty substantially after like one day of running around in it but it is very comfortable fabric so you sort of take the rough with the smooth on that one the label's just printed on so that's very flat that's not going to irritate the back of your neck or interfere or anything i picked up this one on la police gear they had a sale on i added it to my cart waited for a bit then they just emailed me because i'd registered an account they emailed me another like five percent discount on top of the 10 or 20 percent discount it was already at so if you shop wisely you can get one of these things for a very good price and it's it's a 50 50 nyko which is way better uh, than a lot of the poly cotton cheaper uh, airsoft stuff true spec do poly cotton so you've got to make sure research what you're buying be careful read the websites and the descriptions but again this is you can get this way cheaper than lbx and it's much better materials and construction the stitching's not perfect but it's good uh, and it's about half the price of a cry g3 so it, it really hits a good point on the cost versus performance and, and quality uh, scale as it were definitely worth checking out as i mentioned comes in tons of colors you pretty gar much guaranteed to be able to get the, the pattern or, or color that you'd like in one of these true spec shirts i will leave a link in the description to the true spec website we can read more any questions about it please drop them down in the comments box below all my social media stuff will be linked in the description box you know as Please do comment, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more gear stuff like this. And cheers for watching. I'll see you next time.